Before this video starts, I want to express my heartfelt thanks. You've helped one, if not two, of my videos reach 100K views. Achieving this has always been a dream of mine, and your support has made it come true. Thank you for being a part of making my dream a reality. Another thing I would like to mention is that despite my lackluster upload schedule, you guys still continue to support me, and for that, I'm forever grateful. Whenever I read your supportive comments, it sometimes gets me a bit emotional and makes me reflect on whether I truly deserve such an amazing community. Nevertheless, your words also serve as motivation for me to give my absolute best. So, I just wanted to say a massive thank you. Thanks for being here, for supporting the channel, and for making me feel like part of something special. You guys are the reason I keep doing what I do. Now let's get back into the video. Hey everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to be exposing a map hacker. I'll be breaking down the details and presenting the evidence. Prepare yourself. Objection! I'd like to see you try. Hold it! I have all the evidence that I need. Huh? That can't be. I tried to hide it as well as possible. Without further ado... Hold it! Please wait. This has to be a misunderstanding. Let's begin. In this game, I decided to use Bargain Hunter, since I wanted to see if it could compensate for the Berserker's Fury price increase. However, after this game and a couple more, I have come to the realization that it's just not worth it. The price difference is not that significant. In my opinion, you're better off with Tenacity or Weapon Master. Now, I rarely use Purify on Clint, but after seeing Guinevere and Johnson, I just had to use it. Guinevere's quick stun in her second skill makes it tough to dodge. If you get hit by Johnson's car and have a partner, you're mostly going to die. I use Purify when facing hard to react crowd control. Another example of this would be Tigreal's Flicker Ultimate Combo. Flicker won't save me if I get stunned. With Purify, I have a chance to fight back and survive. The enemy has slain the turtle. So in this part, I saw Johnson and decided to quickly clear the waves, then immediately retreat. Instead of hiding in this bush, which I find easy for Johnson to check, I chose to hide elsewhere. Unfortunately, I didn't make it in time. Meanwhile, Johnson randomly used his nitro, then proceeded to move to my exact location. He didn't even bother checking this bush. There was no vision on me when he started using nitro. While he could have seen me clearing the waves earlier, it doesn't explain why he randomly used nitro and came straight for me without any vision and without checking the nearby bush. Initiate Double kill. 
どこに隠れるつもり I cancelled my recall because I noticed Guinevere's HP was low, and since she was heading towards bottom, I hoped to secure a sneaky kill on her. However, out of nowhere, Johnson appeared. After the fight, he intended to clear the mid lane, but then he suddenly hesitated and changed his direction towards me. It's important to note that I was not visible on the map at that time. Confidently using his nitro, he went straight to the bush where I was hiding. While it's possible he saw me on the map clearing waves earlier, it doesn't add up because he started moving towards me when there was no longer any vision.
Once again, using his nitro confidently, he went to my exact location with no vision. When I saw Johnson on the map, ignoring both Atlas and Yu Jong to head straight for me, I thought it was ridiculous. However, what I didn't initially realize was that the enemies had likely observed me battling Moskov earlier. Guinevere, in particular, clearly took notice. She tried predicting my movements by marking the location she anticipated I would go to. It's a reasonable conclusion because after the fight with Moskov, I was already low on HP. This gave the enemies watching me on the map hints about my potential next moves. Since I was near the wall and had low HP, this gave the enemies that were watching me on the map a couple of hints. In this case, Johnson could have either seen me on the map or simply followed Guinevere's mark. I'll show you the clip again. If I've missed any details or if you have a different opinion, feel free to leave it in the comments. I honestly don't get what he's doing here. I guess he just wanted to show off his map hack? However, 
Upon checking the replay, I've noticed that Guinevere left the car. This probably means he didn't realize that Guinevere got out, although it still doesn't change the fact that he managed to find me despite having no vision. He managed to find us with his precise nitro timing. And as usual, there was no vision on us prior to when we got hit by his car. The fact that his nitro timing is always on point throughout the match is just crazy. Subsequently, he went to the bush where Benedetta was hiding. I mean, it didn't hit her directly, but it could just be a skill issue on his part. I'm highly certain he fully intended on hitting the bush since he was going at full speed. Just look at how perfect his driving is. The timing and accuracy are spot on. The only glimpse he caught of me was through this bush, which barely lasted for one second. Beyond that, there was no longer any vision. I'm gonna 
Throughout the entire match, Johnson managed to consistently find me and my allies without relying on any vision. Moreover, his nitro timing and accuracy are consistently flawless. I don't think that even the most skilled Johnson users could achieve such consistency. I didn't bother checking his account and decided to continue playing, since I was focused on grinding my MMR at that time. Huh? The fuck? A few minutes later. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell. Just when I thought I'd never see him again. We ended up meeting once more. And let me tell you, if the first game wasn't enough to convince you, then I'm sure this one will. Because it's even more ridiculous than the last game. As soon as we stopped leashing Akai, he immediately went to try to hook the buff. Literally perfect timing.
Already off to a great start. While watching the replay, I saw Franco marking me, even though there was no vision on me. You can't mark someone without seeing them. Look, when Franco is visible to minions and I mark him, it says, Gather. But when he's out of sight and I try again, it says, Enemy Missing instead. So, how did Franco manage to mark me even though there's no vision, which shouldn't be possible in the first place? Well, the answer is quite simple. He's using map hack. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. As he was about to retreat, he suddenly turned back in our direction and went for a hook. The only explanation for his sudden return was that he must have known we were approaching, despite having no vision.
Mankai. Just as I was about to recall the base, this happened. Huh? I decided to recall because I noticed a lot of minions heading towards our base, and Guinevere was missing. I had a feeling that she would attempt a split push. But then suddenly, Franco tried to stop my recall, not only by using his flicker, but also his conceal. Right after that, he hooked my exact position inside the bush where I was hiding. Fortunately, I managed to escape just in time before the hook landed. All of this occurred while the enemies had zero visibility on me whatsoever. At this point, he's just making it too obvious. Pretty much destined to lose this match. He's so sure that someone is hiding in the bush that he used his flicker without hesitation.
There was no vision on Akai as he made his way to the bush. However, Franco perfectly followed him even though there was no vision. He even requested backup, indicating that he's certain Akai is hiding in the bush. Right after that, he then follows Akai's movements even though Akai was hiding. I tried my best, but sadly it wasn't enough. Out of curiosity, I decided to check his account, and here's what I found. He did all of those crazy plays with those matches and win rate? Yeah, sure, buddy. After a couple of days have passed, Moonton sent me a response letter regarding the reports that I made. Let's see what they have to say. Dear player, at 2023 to 12 to 02, 1258 37, server time, you reported AL 7th Core for cheating. We have verified your report, but we did not find any evidence of such behavior. Thank you for your contribution to a positive in game experience. The MLBB team. So much for Moonton's anti-cheat system.
Remember when Fanny was talking all that smack earlier? Well, I ended up going against him the next day. I find it pretty funny that there are people who genuinely believe that I am using MapHack. Bro, tell the truth. What hack are you using? Even though it's just me constantly checking the bushes, playing it safe, and trying to predict the enemy's movements. I've mentioned this before, but let me repeat. I've been playing this game for years, and my game sense has improved over time. Checking bushes and playing cautiously has become natural for me, as higher-ranked opponents often use them to their advantage. Bruh. You stupid. It's gotten to the point that even a pro player thinks I'm using map hack. Thank you so, thank you so much, best friend. Oh, come on, bro. Did you see that? Yes, sir. Blinded me. See, see. Our base is under attack. Yeah, bro, bro, is But seriously, I hesitated to enter the bush because earlier I had seen Farsa being spotted by Zilong. This made me suspect that she was nearby and could try to help Benedetta. After I defeated Benedetta, I immediately retreated because Farsa was nowhere to be seen. I had a hunch that Farsa might be hiding in the bush, which made me hesitate to approach. It's kind of stupid of me to check this bush with my first skill since if Farsa were in this bush instead, I would have been killed. It would have been better if I had kept my distance and used my ultimate instead. Turret has been destroyed.
It's currently the present day, and when I tried searching for the Map Hacker's account, it said, Player not found. There are two possibilities that come to mind. Either he got banned, or he simply changed his name and continued cheating. In my opinion, option two is less likely, especially since I've noticed that Moonton has been taking action against cheaters lately. I really hope he's been included in the list and got banned. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever that is. Bruh.